Praise be Jesus and Mary. On this day, February 11th, in the year 1858, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to a 14-year-old peasant girl by the name of Bernadette Subaru at the grotto of, or cave of Massabiel in Lourdes, France. Our Lady would appear a total of 18 times, the last time being on July 16th of that same year. And it wasn't until March 25th, the Feast of the Annunciation, that Our Lady finally revealed to Bernadette who she really was. I am the Immaculate Conception. In some way, Our Lady confirmed the solemn dogmatic definition and proclamation of that truth about her, she being the Immaculate Conception, made just four years earlier by Pope Blessed Pius IX on December 8, 1854. Now, Lourdes would become one of the most popular pilgrimage sites in all the world, most beautiful Marian shrines. But what did Our Lady come for? What was her message? First, she asked that a chapel be built at that very site where she appeared. And this is typical of Our Lady, wherever she appears, to build a church for my son, a place to worship the one true God in the most blessed sacrament. And she also asked for prayer and penance for the conversion of sinners. So necessary at that time when atheism and secularism were getting more of a foothold in society and that the Catholic Church, you know, Christianity was, was uh, losing influence. At every apparition, Bernadette was moved to pray the rosary. It's noteworthy that Our Lady held a beautiful rosary in her own hands, and she would finger the beads as Bernadette prayed the rosary, the Hail Marys, and joined her in prayer at the Glory Be at the end of each decade. What a beautiful image that is. And perhaps we could uh, use that image, make it our own when we pray Imagining Our Lady, perhaps with a visual of a statue of Our Lady before us with the rosary in hand, praying with us, but joining us, of course, for the glory bees. At the grotto was discovered a spring, a water that gushed forth after Bernadette was told to dig a bit, you know, in that area. And the water has uh, kept flowing ever since. Water that has been used in washing, bathing, drinking. Water that has been a source of many, many miracles, physical healings attributed to the pious use of that water. Over 70 cases of physical healings have been rigorously studied and approved by the Lord's Medical Bureau. And this bureau includes physicians, scientists of various backgrounds, Catholic and non-Catholic, and many more miracles are just unreported. Now, the Lord's water is something that uh, people would like to have. If you can't go there to get it, it can be brought to you. All you need to do is ask uh, Lord's volunteers. So Lord's is a special place for healing. It's the, the sick flock there, and that's why the church celebrates today also World's Day of the Sick, highlighting for us, reminding us of the importance to take care of the sick, especially those that are 
uh, close to us, near to us, dear to us, entrusted to our care, to take care of them well. And remember Jesus' words, you did it to me. In today's gospel passage from John chapter 2, we heard the narr narration of the, the wedding feast of Cana, our Lord's miracle there, you know, at the, um, through the intercession of Mary. And we're reminded that Mary continues to exercise that role of mediatrix of all graces as she is in heaven now. She repeats to her son in so many words, you know, they have no wine. The wine being symbolic of the blessings of heaven. And from heaven, Our Lady reminds us too, you know, repeating those same words back at Cana, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. This is the essential message wherever Our Lady appears. Do whatever my son tells you, has already told you. Repent of your sins. Believe in the gospel. Pray. Do penance for your own salvation, for the good of your own soul, and for the conversion of sinners. Are we listening to our Heavenly Mother? Or does she have to appear to us again and again? I think not. Our Lady would have us listen to what she's already said many times and let us do whatever her son tells us. Praise be Jesus and Mary.